So yeah, the title is not clickbait at all. I'm being serious. Me and Nock have made a mutual decision to break up. And I'm actually gonna go and drop Nock off in a short while because she's actually leaving sooner than she had planned to. And I'll explain the full reasons in the video in a bit why we're breaking up and the process that we're going through and everything else. I asked if she wanna make the video with me, but she doesn't for understandable reasons, it's all good. But yeah, we need to get a move on and get her to her boat so then she can get a flight to go to Chiang Mai, Thailand. So catch you in a bit. Moments later. Just gone to get her ticket that she pre-booked to get on this boat. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be the last time you're gonna see her for a while on camera. Who knows when we see each other in the future? I don't know. I'm sad a little bit. Yeah, for sure. If you've ever did feel sad, I think there's something wrong with it. <laughs> Do you want to explain the reason why you didn't want to make the video? Well, I just didn't feel like talk about it. But yeah, I remember you actually said it was because you actually feel quite sad about it and you'd cry quite a bit and just, just yeah, it's quite an intense thing for you to yeah. actually talk about it on camera. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I would cry and like, even yesterday, yeah, we spent a lot of quality time together, but there's some time that feelings come up in my body and like I can yeah. feel it so strong. It's not easy. No, I had a lot of grieving to do, a lot of sadness to come up. I just miss spending time with you. Yeah, I love spending time with you. I love at you. <laughs> yeah, I have a really good connection, but yeah, there's some things I'll talk about in a bit once she's gone, why it's happening. And we both really need to focus in on what we're doing the moment. I don't mind to stay with you longer when we're in the connection but I think I leave as soon as possible is probably a better way to deal with. Or else I end up not want to leave and it will be even more difficult emotionally for me or you. Um, we're gonna still continue to be friends and talk and yeah who knows what will happen in the future but yeah we both got a lot going on in our lives we both need to be in two different separate places focus upon what we need to be doing yeah. there's a lot of challenges we both had going on in other areas of life both of our job is very important for us that's like the priority right now I would still want to see you yeah for sure and I'm actually going to be going to Chiang Mai in so week, yeah. she lives right next to there we'll go and see her and see see how we feel and just yeah. take it as it comes and, and I love being on camera with you hmm Oh, and you're very photogenic as well. So yeah, I'm gonna connect to her a bit more before she leaves. Appreciate these last few moments we had together for a while. And then we'll go somewhere, walk around and talk about what's going on. So yeah, you wanna say anything before you leave? I'll come back, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss you a lot and I hope to see you again. Yeah, we're gonna go, we've got a sweeper right next to us now, so we're not seeing Bye. someone's on camera at all. They don't care. <laughs> so yeah, I love you and I love her so much. I am right next to where the boat left. This is a place that I do outdoor calisthenics. I normally bring my gymnastics rings here and my parallettes and resistance bands do some training. Me and Nock did our last workout together here recently actually. It was a chest workout and it was really good. So yeah, now onto the topic of the video. So why did we break up? Okay, so I mentioned in a video recently that we were going in the direction of either breaking up or not. And I mentioned one of the reasons why was due to Nock wanting to live in a completely different place in Thailand, really far away way to where I am currently and I want to be here. Her business is there so she needs to be there for understandable reason. It's her priority so I'm absolutely fine that she feels that she needs to go there and be there and there were some other different things that come up but we came to the conclusion whilst we've been spending the last few days together well I came aware of this and then I shared it with her is there has been an issue in this intimate connection since the start. I'm someone that's really into conscious communication and as we know people can get really intense emotions come up in intimate connections and and it could be really intense to navigate. And what I'd found time and time again is even with my conscious communication skills such as nonviolent communication, Nock would many times get a very strong emotional trigger anywhere from a smaller thing triggering her to a bigger thing, whatever you wanna label as a smaller or bigger thing, dependent on your perception. You can see something as small 
than someone else could see it saying big and so on. And she would just get very overwhelmed and then act in ways which are called violent communication in many different ways. And it's just because she doesn't have lots of experience and knowledge with conscious forms of communication. And me, as a teacher of many different things, I have been trying to navigate through this and teach her as we've been going along. And I've been understanding she is where she's at and I'm impatient, but it just keeps happening time and time again and it causes so much chaos in our connection. Our connection is so good. This is the only thing that's been causing issues massively time and time and time again. She wasn't wanting to behave in those ways, but she would just get very overwhelmed at times and just do certain forms of communication that would make us just have a long drawn out process with conflict that would just traumatize the people involved in it, which is us, and just make things worse and worse and worse. But then there was times where she was acting away to do conscious conflict resolution and move through it really quickly. But there's many times where it would just go into this complete bomb that would explode. And we'd always move through it, but it could take hours and hours and hours and hours. And whew, I'd get affected by it for days afterwards once you'd move through it and we resolved it. And it's just like, man, she needs to go on her own path in with her own speed with the things with conscious communication and conscious relationships that she needs to do i've been trying to make it work in this connection we both have but it's just really not working due to this reason there's been some other things but this has been the main issue time and time and time again and i'm sure as you know when you're in a relationship and you can't do good conflict resolution it just has such a negative effect on a relationship and then it just makes me want to just get away man i just don't need this in my life at all it's just, yeah, it's just not what anyone needs in their life, whether they're aware of it or not. So yeah, apart from that, everything's really, really good. And she's been trying to do her best to improve and she has massively improved. But I remember when I was in a relationship a long time ago and I had just become aware of this for a person that I was with for a while. They were trying to teach me as well. And it was really difficult and challenging for them. They were understanding of me and where I was at. They were being patient, but it just kept emotionally hurting them a time and time and time and time again. And it wasn't nice of me to experience that. And I was trying so hard and it felt like there was so much pressure on me to get to where I needed to be so I could make the relationship work and it just wasn't. And due to that, I can really understand what's been going on for Nock, why it's happening. There's only so much understanding, empathy and compassion you can have until you get to a point where you say enough is enough. And I just got to the break point where I said, look, what I've just said to you in this video, and she agreed with me. And she feels that it would be better for her to naturally go at her own speed and continue on this journey with these certain things that I've taught her around conscious communication, conscious relationships. And it's just a time where we've both got so much going on in our lives that we both need to focus upon. So it doesn't mean that we won't get back together. We're not planning to get back together at all. I will mention that, but who knows what will happen in the future. We're both just gonna feel it out, get on with what we need to, focus upon ourselves more, do more of what we love to do, and just make ourselves even more of a priority and just have more energy to focus upon the other things that we need to in life at the moment. So yeah, I will keep you updated on what's going on and we're still gonna stay connected. I'm still gonna support her if she needs support and we'll just see how it goes. If we find it's too overwhelming to keep talking to each other as friends, then we may need to stop talking for a while until we've moved through our own grieving process. And yeah, if anyone's wondering why we weren't crying on camera, when I'm on camera, it's easy to just be focused upon the camera and get out of my emotional body. So it doesn't mean there's not feelings coming up like she mentioned earlier on it's been very intense for us there's been ups and downs we cried so many different times yesterday because yeah the connection is so good so we're losing a lot of really good things but we're also doing something that is right for us at this current moment and i cannot tell you what is going to happen with anything in life you may think you know what's going to happen in life but all you can know is exactly what is going on in the present moment you never know what's going to happen in the future what's around the corner <sighs> so yeah i'm going to get on with the rest of my day uh, yeah just remember if you're in a connection and it's not working, you keep trying, trying, trying again. Maybe it just will never work. Maybe it's something that is not broken, that is fixable type of thing. It could be like that with many different things in life. So yeah, sometimes you need to just go your own way and be as loving with yourself and focus more upon yourself. Um, yeah. But yeah, I do love her so much. Like. <sighs> Yeah, when I feel into the emotions, it's very upsetting for me. But I know I'll be okay. And who knows, maybe we will come to realize that with this time away, maybe we can get together, maybe we can make it work, I don't know. 
I would prefer that we could stay together and make it work, but at the moment it's just not. It's like when you're trying to make something work time and time again, it's just not working. You hit it over the head again and again and again and again. It's like, man, I already have so much to deal with in my life right now without all of that as well. So, yeah. Such is life. So, yeah. Got any questions? Leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share. And make sure to subscribe, make sure you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. And yeah, before I end, this is where I normally hang up my rings. I normally put my parallettes on one of these concrete foundations. And yeah, I just love training outside. You just get so much more pure oxygen for you, which can actually make your workout way, way better and it's just nice to get out of somewhere not be inside another building because i spend a lot of time indoors already working online so yeah and the brilliant thing with calisthenics you can train anywhere you just need your body weight we don't necessarily need rings or anything like that as long as you've got floor you can do a calisthenics workout no gym membership required didn't say that correctly then so if you've got a four one no excuse not to train so yeah catch you all on the flip side peace